What's going on guys, it's your boy J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today I'm going to show you guys my Prison of Elders rewards for the past couple weeks on all of my characters. So as I mentioned in previous videos, I haven't had as much time over the past couple weeks to complete some of the weekly activities in Destiny, but I did complete some stuff so I will show you guys what I did complete and some of the rewards that I was able to receive from all of it so I was able to complete some of the challenge modes on my characters I wasn't able to do all the challenge modes for the past couple weeks on all three of my characters but I'll go ahead and show you guys what I did so starting off on my Titan we have I believe this is the level 32 one uh, so we get the usual stuff in the side chest the armor core the materials and for the middle chest I went ahead and picked up the her right hand auto rifle which is the Queen's auto rifle and um, I actually have the old version from Queen's Wrath and it was a rare uh, so it has pretty similar stats and hopefully they buff auto rifles because I really love using it uh, back then and uh, hopefully it gets better if they eventually buff auto rifles back again. And then going into my Hunter, um, I believe this is the level 34 challenge mode. So for this we pick up the weapon core along with the etheric light. And then we had a treasure key on the small chest. And then I went ahead and opened the middle chest because I got a treasure key. And I got a Wolf's Bane machine gun. So that was pretty cool along with some Multilite Strange Coins, usual stuff. Uh, so that was pretty cool. The Wolf's Bane has some decent stats on it. Um, so I can't wait to try to roll some good perks on it and uh, test it out and level it up. So that was pretty cool as well. And then... On my Hunter, once again, I believe this is the level 34 challenge mode again. So that one was last week's one, and this is this week's one. And for this one, uh, we were able to pick up the treasure key on the mini chest. So that was pretty cool. I got a treasure key once again, along with the usual stuff on the side chest, the materials. And then for the middle chest, we get another her right hand auto rifle, which was unfortunate. But I did get the Kel Hunter's hood, um, so that was pretty cool. A class item, I actually didn't have that one until then. So another class item I can add to my collection of cloaks, so that's pretty cool. Um, but I did go ahead and dismantle the auto rifle because I already have one. And then this is my Hunter once again, I believe. So this is the level 35 Skolas' Revenge. We get the Etheric Light, Weapon Core, and Armor Core like usual. No treasure keys on the side chest. And then we get the Queen's Web. Shader, Kelbreaker Emblem, the ship, and I believe I got the Her Courtesy Shotgun, which was sent to my Postmaster because my special weapons were full. And then going into my final character, my Warlock, this is the level 34 challenge mode, I believe, and we get the normal stuff from the side chest, the strange coins, the guaranteed rewards with the weapon core and the etheric light. And then more materials from the middle chest, and I ended up actually getting a uh, Dream Waker rocket launcher that was sent to my Postmaster because my heavy weapons ended up being full. So uh, another Dream Waker that I went ahead and dismantled because I've gotten that like five times already. And then finally on my final rewards for the video, this is Skolos on my Warlock. Level 35, we get the guaranteed rewards, we get the materials on the side chest, no treasure keys on this one and for the middle chest we end up picking up the payment post rifle and the dreads anonymity class item so that was pretty cool i didn't have either of those so i couldn't wait to uh, add it to my collection so that's about it for this video thank you guys for watching as always like comment subscribe stay tuned for more videos and i will catch you guys next time peace